What up, boys? It's Gaz, and welcome to another Warframe video. Haven't seen you for a good 24 hours. How have you been? Well, today we have another Wukong video, another Helminth Wukong video, where the video the other day was about speedrunning and molt and firewalkers making you move faster in your cloud form. Today will be more of a general use uh, and applications build with Wukong, making yourself even more tanky, making yourself deal even more damage, and making things just easier, and also being a little bit of a support by buffing your teammates, because in my opinion, one of the things that Wukong doesn't really do uh, is buff his teammates or support in any way. So that's what we'll be going over today. It's not really support-focused, but we have a double-duty uh, mod on here that will help you out. All right, so before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button and sub the channel if you have not already for more synergy videos, more build videos, etc., etc. All right, so what are we using on Wukong today? Well, it's not too difficult to explain. We have the Eclipse ability from Mirage, and the reason for that is the Total Eclipse Augment mod, giving your buff to your, your clone as well as you. Um, it does work, and there's a visual effect as well. It also will buff your teammates. So let's just show what the build we're rocking here is. Something to keep in mind is that the um, Helmuth version of Eclipse does not deal as much damage as uh, normal Mirage, but it still does a good amount of stuff. It's got 75% damage reduction when you're in the dark, uh, and then it will buff your damage as well, depending how in the light you currently are. With the Total Eclipse Augment mod, you can share this buff with teammates, including your allies like your cat and your clone, within 15 meters. So that means that your weapons will become buffed, and since you're... Uh, clone is like an aimbot, basically. There's lots of weapons that it will be very good with, uh, and it will be doing additional damage. We are going to replace Wukong's fourth ability, because I didn't really find myself using it that much. I don't really use his three that much either, but if you're trying to go for some good extra survivability, this is pretty good. Another 1,500 extra armor on there, making it so your health takes less damage from the enemies shooting at you, and stuff like that. The rest of the build is basically survivability and ease of use mods. We didn't want to run a maxed out narrow-minded, because... That will affect the range of your uh, Total Eclipse, and it will make it so you're not buffing your teammates and your clone as reliably. Although it will let you have higher um, duration to stay in your Cloud Walker for longer. That's not really the main focus of here. You could definitely get away with a little bit higher of a ranked narrow-minded, but I opted to just go for that. Easier to buff your teammates with this, uh, and it also will increase the stun radius of your two, which is not... I'm sure a lot of people don't even know that this, this can actually stun enemies and set them up for finishers, but it actually can, so... Cloudwalker, very good here. Prime Flow, going to make it so we can reliably cast our abilities. Adaptation, just to um, mitigate some of the dominant type of damage in an enemy shot. And then we've got Prime Sure-Footed for uh, knockdown removal. And Steel Charge, just to fit more mods on the build. You could definitely, if you wanted to run, maybe you have an Umbra uh, format on your Wukong, you could run a different Aura mod or something like that. Or just, you know, maybe run Augur Secrets, or and rather, not other, Augur Reach instead of uh, Stretch for two more points. And you can fit out other aura mods up there, guys. The, the build is very flexible. Wukong is not a frame that really requires much. We've, we've had plenty of other builds where um, you don't even need a single forma. And we're also running Arcane Energize and Arcane Avenger. Avengers for more crit chance on our weapons. So this is not going to be a very good situation right here where it's 20 Exo Goose Strike Officers. Um, let's just let's summon them in, see what happens. Wukong actually has some really good... Um, he's a really good passive. This 1500 armor is, like, if, when you're getting the really high levels, 1500 armor is not going to do anything for you. So let's just do that, get our uh, buff going here. As you can see, um, the Total Eclipse looks like it's going off on our, our ally. And we're going to be using some weapons of choice like the Kuva Brahma. The, the um, Ignis Wraith also is very good with the clone. Like I said, this is not really a normal situation. This is just for testing weapon damage right here. Um, so let's, let's not even, like, continue this test anymore. Let's just throw some mission gameplay on the screen. Um, because, like, I mean, those exo 20 exo Grooster officers, that doesn't even happen ever. So, um, yeah, I would not really judge a frame survivability by that. Let's get some gameplay up here. This is a Steel Path Survival. Um, now here's, let's go over some weapons that are good with the Wukong clone. Because while you have your primary out, or rather, while you have a gun out, your, uh, your clone, the Celestial Twin, will be using your melee, and vice versa. If you have your melee out, the clone will be using a gun. Whatever gun you most recently had equipped. Now, you can actually cheese it out a little bit if you unequip a melee. The, you can have two Brahma uh, clones going at the same time. You using the Brahma and your, your clone using the Brahma. And that will be some good spam right there. Let's actually get that good, ready to go in the simulacrum here. 
Um, so yeah, I'd say the best melee weapon seems to be daggers for some reason. The clone just like really attacks pretty quickly when it's using a dagger. So I'm using the, the Karst Prime. Although I didn't rename it the Karst Prime so no one can nitpick me. Um, the Karst Prime seems really good with the uh, the Wukong clone. And it, it, it's a pretty good melee weapon on its own. So I'd recommend that one. But you're going to want to run some attack speed mods. Because you're not going to be... I'm not using Blood Rush or Weeping Wounds on these builds for the, the clone uh, melee. Because like it's not going to really build up combo. It's... It, it's just like an upfront damage build of sacrificial steel, um, and just like elemental damage. So I'll just quickly show that. Um, it, it does. It will do some good damage though, to be honest, guys. And as you can see right here, we're just spamming the Brahma, blowing up these steel path grenier. So here is the um, the Cars Prime. I have a Riven with attack speed and critical chance on it, but you can definitely that was not the right build. This is the build I'm using. So you want to use uh, multiple attack speed mods if possible. And just make it so it's attacking as fast as it as it can. Don't run any uh, blood rush or weeping wounds on the clone's melee build. And then the Kuva Brahma is a radiation Kuva Brahma with just basically prime, prime firestorm and all this kind of stuff. Really good for the clone just spamming. Let's actually show um, the double the double Brahma Bros as I like to call it. And we'll just you know let's knock these guys into like level like a hundred. Sure. Maybe take ten of them out of here too, so it's not just getting completely gunned down by. 10 heavy gunners at the same time. Or 20. 10's definitely easier to survive than 20. Right, we'll use Eclipse. Use that. Get some armor here. You know what we could do? We could just use our 2 to stun these guys. If they get up and they're stunned. Double Brahma. That, that honestly, guys, in mission... That is disgusting. What we're doing right now, it is disgusting in mission. Um, you do have to sacrifice equipping a melee, but for most level content, you honestly don't even need a melee, to be honest. So, if you're doing the Steel Path, I mean, even in the Steel Path, the Brahma's killing the Acolyte. I mean, I do have a Brahma Riven, to be fair, but I hardly even use my melee this entire mission. So, yeah, I do really like Total Eclipse on, um, on Wukong. If you're just trying to, like, run your Steel Path dailies and stuff... Trying to do some fissures here and there. This build will cover you basically all, in all places. Um, and it's, it's survivable enough. Like, I'm not even abusing shield gating right now in the steel path. That 1500 armor does give you a nice little chunk there. Um, and then the damage reduction from Eclipse, 75%. Not super high, but then again, when stacked with 1500 armor and adaptation, it, it's it's pretty tanky, honestly. It's not like god tier tanky, but it is very tanky. And I do, I do enjoy this build. I'd say get yourself a Kuba Brahma radiation element or toxin element. Um, as far as the secondary slot's concerned, I believe the Athadai is pretty good with this, with the Wukong clone, um, and the Kuva Nucor, of course, but, you know, everyone's like, Kuva Nucor's gonna get nerfed, Kuva Nucor's gonna get nerfed, so, I mean, it, it is really good with this, to be fair, it is very good, one of the best weapons for the clone, um, but I do think the Kuva Brahma is, it's probably the best primary. Um, the Exceltra is also really good, like I said, Ignis Wraith earlier, um, and there's, there's definitely plenty of other good ones, too, so... Keep in mind, it does not really get headshots, so that's why the Kuba Brahma is nice. One of the reasons the Kuba Brahma is nice, and a lot of other reasons. All right, guys, that's it for this quick video. Um, hopefully, you found this this helmet build uh, fun and you know exciting. I do think this is one of the better choices for Wukong, but like I said, he does not really need anything specific. I just didn't really use his four that much, so I figured this would be a nice little replacement here. And it, you know, it is Steel Path viable, so. There is also that. I'll talk to you guys next time. Hopefully you find these videos fun and helpful. Uh, and yeah, Twitch streams this weekend. I'm I'm going to try to like stream four times a week again um, this next week. So yeah, keep an eye on that. Uh, it just, it's been really busy at work. And I finally got, like, I'm finally on the shift I got hired for. Um, so I'm going to be able to stream after work as well as make those daily uh, videos as well. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hopefully we can uh, talk soon. Peace.